um, to this Bible reflection. Romans 1, 18 through 23. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. As a result, they have no excuse. For although they knew God, they did not accord him glory as God or give him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man or of birds or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. We were created to share a relationship with God. That's why He has made His existence clear to everyone. Sometimes His revelation is miraculous, like the burning bush that Moses discovered. But more often than not, we encounter the Father's presence in everyday surroundings. Paul wrote to the church in Rome, that God's invisible attributes, that is his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived, being understood by what has been made. In other words, the Lord is evident in every created thing. Have you ever wondered how an old oak survives season after season? Have you marveled at the starry sky or watched a colony of ants work together? All such things point us to the Lord. God made his present evidence evident in nature because he wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. He has given us the capacity to be aware of him through what he has made. However, the Father has also given every person a choice of whether to accept or reject a relationship with him. What will you do the next time you see evidence of the Lord in your world? Scripture promises we won't regret knowing Jesus. After all, he wants us to have life and have it abundantly. Thank you for listening. God bless you, and I love you.